Hey there everyone, I'm Nathan from Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with me, I own and operate my own business helping clients from all over the world with all sorts of different services on their smartphones. So with me running a business, yes, that does mean that I charge for all my services. If you're here looking for a free way to be able to do these things, then you won't find that here unfortunately. But I can promise that if you do decide to work with me, you absolutely will not regret it. Too many times these days, it seems that the only places to turn to for these types of services are nameless, faceless eBay sellers, or suspicious-looking websites, or random guys on Craigslist, or a shady little store down the street where you're not quite sure if they actually have any idea what they're doing with your phone. I'm here to change all that by giving clients a professional, reputable, and friendly place to turn to for these types of services. No one else has the experience, knowledge, and dedication to this business that I do, and the hundreds of perfect feedback and reviews that I have posted on my sites from prior clients prove that my service can't be matched by anyone else out there. Now, under why I'm here today. One of the most common services that I'm asked to perform on phones is the removal of an account block that's on the phone preventing you from accessing it. So today we're specifically going to be dealing with the Google account lock that can show up on an Android phone. It's enabled when you factory reset the phone without first removing the Google account that was previously on it. So here with me today I have a T-Mobile Galaxy S7. We'll see if I can focus in here and show you the model number on the back there. I'm not sure how well that will show up with the zoom there. We'll try to show you later. But anyways, this one is currently at the Verify Your Account screen. So this one was reset without first removing that Google account, and so during the setup process, we come to this screen that asks us to enter in the account details of the account that was last on it. Now, I can't tell you how many different clients have contacted me saying that they were scammed and ripped off by a dishonest seller, or even plenty of them that had forgotten their lock screen information and had to reset the phone, but then also had a problem getting back into their Google account, so they were locked out of the phone making this video here today to let everyone know that my business does offer a service to be able to remove that lock from the phone and I'm going to demonstrate the process here in a second. So we have the lock screen here. I'm going to run one quick thing on my computer and it's going to take just a couple seconds to go and then we will be able to reboot the phone and then see that now the lock is removed from it. So it's going to be turning back on here. Give it a second to do its thing. There we have the T-Mobile screen, so this is indeed the T-Mobile version of the phone. I should mention, though, that this is doable on just about any S7 or S7 Edge, since they're essentially the same phone underneath. So even if it's not a T-Mobile model, I can still most likely help you. So. We're back up here at the welcome screen now. So it's again asking us to go through the setup. So we're gonna go ahead and click start. We are going to jump past the Wi-Fi here. And we're just gonna be able to skip through things here. Terms and conditions, agree. Point up date and time. Okay, and now we're actually seeing options that we never had before relating to Google services and the screen lock function. So that does indicate that we're past the lock because those never would have shown up before with the Google account enabled. So I'm going to keep going here through the rest of it just to get all the way to the home screen to show you that the lock has indeed been removed. Seems like with every new phone they come out with, there's a longer and longer setup process. All right, there we are finally. So we're finally past the final screen there, and we do have the phone's full home screen loaded up here. So the Google account lock has been successfully removed from this S7, and it's fully ready for use again. So if you have an S7 or an S7 Edge that's locked with the Google account and need to get it taken off, I'd be happy to help you out. So go ahead and get in contact with me. All the details for contacting me will be right in the video description, and I'll also add a slide at the end of the video that has everything in there also. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. I offer a lot of different services for a lot of different phones, and I'm sure you'll find something there that interests you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos that I'm constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, yo también hablo español, así que ustedes no duden contactarse conmigo.
Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.